Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel Service Now Universe. Today in this session, we'll discuss about embedded widgets. And please uh, watch the video till the end, then you will understand uh, this concept in full detail. And this is a very interesting concept. Okay. So here uh, we have uh, one page called clock. And in that we have added the clock here. And the time it is showing is from Los Angeles. Okay. Now how we have created uh, that, let's go to uh, pages, service portal pages. Uh, there is a clock page here so this is the custom page which i have created here in this i have added a widget called uh, cool clock this is out of the box widget uh, it is provided by service now okay so this widget has instance options so what are instance options in our first video uh, first video on service portal we have discussed this so please go ahead uh, go and uh, watch that video i'll add uh, uh, i'll add the link of that video in the description so uh, we'll understand what is instance options. So if we go here and if I right click uh, Control plus right click, then we'll get the instance options here. So here it is showing the time from the uh, time of Los Angeles. The time zone is set here and uh, we have added the title and here the second hand color uh, is red. Okay, so we can see a uh, title is here and this uh, second hand color is red and it is showing the time of los angeles okay currently uh, 6 uh, a.m in the morning in the los angeles so it is showing that so let me just change that so this is very important we'll uh, uh, when we discuss about the embedded widget set currently we have not embedded that uh, if we see the clock page uh, it is added directly here in that page we'll embed that in another page okay now i'll just change this to this is uh, this is the default value uh, of instance option for time zone but i'll change it to asia then Kolkata okay and I'll change uh, this from red to blue okay and I'll change the title to Kolkata okay let me see so you see uh, the time has changed here now now it is showing uh, uh, it is showing uh, the Indian time Indian Kolkata time here okay and the title is also changed so now we, we know uh, what are instance options on uh, this cool clock widget and uh, how we have changed that manually. So to change that manually, we have to right click and click on instance options and change those. Okay. Now when we embed the, uh, embed the uh, widget, right? So that time these instance options we need to send uh, through script. Okay. And how we'll send through script that we'll check uh, now. Okay. So let me close this page and let me, let me clone the widget so that if any modifications needed then we can do those modifications okay uh, so here copy of okay this cool clock then i'll say custom okay uh, so this id is very very important in our first video uh, on service portal we have discussed again uh, why why id is required so whenever we uh, deal with embedded widget set we need id here Okay, so let me go here. Uh, we have one. We have created one page called multiple clocks. Okay, so we'll add multiple clocks here in this. Uh, watch till the end. You'll uh, then understand that. Uh, so here I have created one uh, widget called multiple clocks. Okay, there is a widget called multiple clocks here. That widget is empty. Let me open that in uh, widget editor. If we see uh, HTML is empty, uh, CSS empty, client script empty, everything is empty. This is a brand new widget. And here we will embed the uh, uh, embed our cool clock widget. Okay. And we'll embed uh, the widget which we have cloned, this one. Okay. Now we can embed the widget uh, in a widget uh, in three ways. One directly in HTML, second from client script to HTML, third from server side to HTML. Okay. So we'll start off with the uh, uh, server, uh, sorry, HTML side. Okay. So to uh, add it in HTML side, we have one uh, tag here that is widget. Then ID of the widget we need to pass. That is this. Okay. Let me copy this and I'll add the uh, widget ID here. And yeah, uh, that's it. Okay. Let me just save this. Now, where, where I have added this inside multiple clocks widget and where is multiple clocks widget is added that is an multiple clocks page. Okay. And you can see we have only one uh, uh, widget here. Okay. Now let me just try it. 
will write in San Vishnu Universe portal. So you can see we have got uh, the Los Angeles time here, but uh, you can see the default option is red. Uh, the title, sorry, the title is empty, and the second hand uh, bar is uh, red here. Okay, because that is the default option. Now, if I control right click here, I'll not get instance options because this is embedded widget. This is not uh, the widget directly added on the page. This is embedded widget. Now, uh, the instance options I need to pass it through the script. Okay. So for that we have option here called options. Here I need to pass the uh, object. Okay. Uh, for time zone it is uh, zone okay. colon. Now I need to pass um, here. I'll say America slash Chicago. Okay. Now, from where uh, we can get these time zones, let me just uh, go to my user profile. Profile. Uh, here uh, we have these time zones. Okay. Now I can uh, just do show choice list on time zone. So in this field, uh, you have uh, 528 time zones here. Okay. For Asia, Kolkata is fine here itself. You can see we have this. Okay. So currently we are adding uh, Chicago here. Okay, then I'll do comma title colon Chicago. Okay, and then I'll add C underscore color. Uh, its uh, name is C underscore color. So I'll add uh, yellow, for example. Okay, let me just click on save. Okay, and now let me refresh the page. You see, uh, we have got uh, title Chicago here and uh, this bar is changed to yellow and the time is changed to Chicago time. Okay, so this is how we can embed the widget uh, directly in uh, HTML. Okay, and uh, there is one more thing. Uh, we can just uh, get the options from the server side as well. Like I'll cut this from here. And in the server side, what I'll do is data dot clock options is equal to and this. Okay. And I can include this data dot clock options here. Okay. Now let me save it. And let me refresh this. Okay, still we have got the result here now why this is important uh, if you want to change uh, based on some conditions like uh, if some some condition here okay if some condition met then uh, we want uh, what chicago time okay else uh, we can change it to some other time else we change it to new york time for example new york Okay, so uh, in this way we can use uh, uh, this uh, if else options here on server side to uh, create the uh, clock options and we can pass that to the widget on the HTML side. Okay, so this is how we can embed the widget on HTML side. Now let me just remove this. Okay, and let me remove this as well. Now we will see how we can embed that from client side. Okay, now let me just save it. Again, this is a blank widget now. Uh, let me refresh this page. We don't have anything here. Okay, we don't have anything. Now to uh, embed uh, the widget from client side, we have this function sp util dot get. Okay, and uh, inside this, we need to pass the widget option here. Sorry, widget ID. This is the widget ID where we are passing, and then dot then function. And inside that function and in bracket will add response like this. Okay. Then we'll create a, a variable here c dot uh, clock widget widget is equal to and then this response whatever response we get right. So that response will be uh, from sputil dot get function whatever response we get that response will be stored in c dot clock widget. Okay, now uh, we have got that on the client side. We want to uh, put it on server side, right? Otherwise, it will not be. Uh, uh, let me just save this. Okay, and one thing, uh, this SP util should be added here in the uh, client side function. Okay, otherwise it will not work. So if I refresh this, 
without adding the HTML, then again, we will not be having anything, right? So what uh, there is a, a tag here, SP hyphen widget. Okay. Then here we need to pass what is the widget. Earlier we had ID right when we used widget tag. Now uh, we have widget here. Okay. Inside widget, we need to pass this the response we received from sputil.get function. Okay. Get. Okay. Now I'll just do like this. Okay. Let me save it. Let me refresh it now. You see, uh, we have got the clock here, but uh, you can see it has shown us the default options like uh, Chicago and there is no title and this red bar because we have not passed anything here and there is one drawback. We cannot pass the instance options from here. If I pass like this, how we passed it in, uh, how we passed it in the uh, earlier, right? Uh, in the HTML side, so we we cannot pass it like this zone and that. So this object when we pass, it will take it as the input object. Okay, it will not consider it as options object. So it will consider it as an input object. So we'll discuss that input object in our uh, uh, next upcoming videos. But from uh, client side, we can embed the widget like this. Okay. So uh, let me just remove this and we'll check now how we can embed the widget from server side. Uh, let's keep this because for so, from server side also we need this but uh, the uh, the value we are passing to the widget attribute will, will be changed now okay again we'll save this again this is an empty object uh, sorry empty widget and let me refresh this there should not be anything that is empty now let's close client side and let go to uh, server side uh, now on server side we have a function called sp dollar sp dot get widget get widget and it will also take the parameter uh, that is widget ID which we want to embed right okay now uh, here I need to store that in data dot clock widget yeah I need to store it in this and this one we can pass uh, here to the widget okay now let me just refresh it now Okay. Now we have got the clock here and again with the uh, uh, default options because we have not passed anything. But uh, here is the plus point. We can pass uh, the options here. Okay. Now how we can pass the options? Uh, we have we can pass as a, uh, uh, it as a second parameter in forget uh, widget function. So here I'll pass zone. Zone is Asia slash Kolkata and title is Kolkata and I want the color as you can say blue blue okay now just save this okay I'll just refresh this okay you see uh, we have got this bar as blue we have got the title and the time showing is the indian time okay that is kolkata time okay now uh, if you want multiple clocks here okay then how we can do that uh, we can do that from server side here uh, let me what uh, let me just uh, remove this let me just cut paste it here and i'll just keep it because we need it uh, again here so uh, i'll make this as array okay data dot clock widget okay i'll say clock widgets will add multiple here okay so first what we'll do is data dot clock widgets dot push okay we'll just copy this control z uh, and here we'll paste this similarly we have will have multiple okay uh, here i am hard coding uh, but we can get it from uh, uh, the script as well okay now let me pass america chicago okay go and this color is red and here america 
New York. And here I'll say New New York. Color is yellow. And here I'll say America and Denver. And here I'll say Denver. And the color I'll say control Z say is black for example okay now we have got a uh, just okay okay so now we have got uh, all the uh, widgets okay uh, we have passed the um, widgets and different uh, different options to the get object function and we have received that and we have stored that in an array okay now we'll loop through that array variable i is equal to zero i is less than data dot clock widgets hmm. i don't think we we need to uh, loop over it okay uh, we need to loop over it on html side okay now let me go here okay and what i'll do is i'll add ng repeat here to uh, a loop over an array on uh, HTML side, we need ng repeat. Okay, uh, I'll make a video on this ng repeat on arrays and ng repeat on objects uh, in HTML side. Okay, now how we can uh, loop over this? Now, what I'll say a clock in data dot clock widgets. Okay, uh, this we are ng repeat. Uh, now we have got each clock. This each this each record in the clock here. Okay, now I'll get that clock and I'll pass that to widget. Let me just save it and let me refresh. You see, we have got four clocks here. First one, Kolkata, and then Chicago, and then a New York, and then Denver with uh, different colors. You can see black, yellow, red, and blue. So in this way, we can uh, uh, we can add the data from server side. Uh, and we can pop uh, we can embed the widget on the HTML side. So this is how we can embed the widget in HTML uh, from client side and from server side. But uh, adding it, uh, but embedding it from the server side will give you more options. Uh, you can add multiple widgets here, and using ngrepeat you can add multiple ones, and you can pass the custom uh, sorry you can pass the options as well. Okay. So this is all about embedded widgets. Uh, I think uh, you like this content. Uh, if you like this content, then please uh, like the video and share the video. And if you have not subscribed yet, then please subscribe and uh, please watch the full video. Don't skip. Uh, if you if you watch the full video, then you will get a full concept. So thank you very much. Thank you all.